So the IDE for the Python that we are going to use here in this course is called Jupyter Notebook. It is very handy for the learning purposes. Obviously, you can use PyCharm or Spider or, or, or other online um, editors as well. But I believe for the learning purposes, Jupyter is the best one, one of the best one. So um, how to install Jupyter? For to install Jupyter, we need to have Anaconda with us. You might be a, a little bit afraid. We are learning Python. Now we have to get Anaconda. That is something wild, right? Yeah. So we have I've pasted two links over here. Um, one is how to. Uh, one is the link from where we can download the Anaconda, and second link is um, the installation instructions. Uh, instructions. Uh, how can we install the Anaconda? First of all, let's go to the website, official website of Anaconda. That is over here. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll go to anaconda.com slash download. From here, all you have to do is you have to click this download button if you're using Windows because here you can see the icon of window. But what if you're using Mac or Linux or something? So you have to scroll down over here. Uh, Anaconda has the separate installers for every other platform. For Windows, it has this one. All you have to do is you have to click on this one and it will start downloading. If you're using, if you are using Mac, you have to download your relevant installer. And if you are you, you're using a Linux, then you you can install any of these that is feasible or compatible with your machine. Once the downloader is downloaded, right? Oh, sorry, not downloaded. Once the installer is downloaded, then you have to go to the second link, which is this one. And here it has the separate installation instructions for every platform. Let's talk about Windows. And you can check out for Mac or Linux as well, according to your need. Okay, so it has loaded. It has some instructions. So first of all, it says download the Anaconda installer. So if you go over this link, it will again take you over here right so once it is downloaded you have to go to your download uh, downloads folder where usually your items get downloaded and then you have to double click on the installer or the exe file then you have to click next you have to click on i agree um, you can read the licensing terms and then click i agree but according to our custom uh, we usually don't read right so you can just click on i agree okay and then um, it is recommended that you install it for just me right because you're not using it for any commercial purpose so just click on just me then click next select a destination where you want to install it right so here is some pictorial display uh, this is kind of a window that will be opened up when you will click on the installer you will click on next then you will go over here you will uh, select which uh, Python version do you want to use and then you'll click on install right then click on again next and finally finish right so once it will be finished and by the way um, I did not create a uh, created a you know slides of these screenshots because you know things are getting updated uh, ev almost every day so that is why I gave you the link of this website if anything will get updated you will get an update over here as well right so once you will click finish you will have a look on the screen of Anaconda that will look something like this, similar to this, almost similar to this, right? So here you will find a lot of apps that are offered by Anaconda and you have to scroll down and we are interested in this notebook, right? So this is basically the Jupyter notebook. So you'll have to click on launch. Once you will click on launch, you will see something like this right so basically this will open up a directory of yours you can go to desktop or wherever you want to create your files for example I'll go to the basics of Python folder and that's it right we'll stop over here from here to onwards I'll take you in next video